Okay, factorizing. Quadratic trinomials. Okay, question one. The question that we want to do, we want to create brackets, remember that, for these. We want to create two brackets and factorize question one x squared plus x minus six. Question two x squared minus x plus 20. Question three, x squared plus seven x plus six. And question four, x squared minus two x minus 80. Factorizing quadratic trinomials. Let's go through the first one, right? Look at the last term, okay, which is six. Six can be six times one, it can be three times two. Then look at the difference of these two numbers, right? Six minus one or six plus one. If you add it, you can get seven. If you subtract it, you can get five. If you add these two, you can get five. If you subtract it, you can get one. That's the number we want, which is one, because that number is in front of x, which means those are the factors that we want inside our bracket. So let's put each of those factors inside the bracket, three and two. In order to get plus one, the middle two terms have to become plus one, which means I'm gonna have plus three minus two because three minus two is one. And you can actually look at it like that. Actually, that's simple. Let's check it out. If I put X and X here, and I do my smiley face test, right? I call this a smiley face test, where I take the inner two terms and the outer two terms alone, and I just analyze it. Three times x is three x, I'm just writing it down. And x times minus two is minus two x, yep. And then I minus those two, does it actually end up at one x? Yes, it does. Three x minus two x does end up there. So I know that answer will definitely be correct. Let's go to the next one now. Question number two. Remember, look at the last term over there. This okay, so which is 20, the constant. All right, so 20 can be 20 times one, can be 10 times two, it can be four times five, and then add and subtract each one, add and subtract each one, yeah, you'll get 19 if you subtract it, or you'll get 21. Yeah, you'll get 12, or you'll get eight if you subtract it, 10 minus two. Five plus four gives you nine, five minus four gives you one. There's the nine, because that's what we want. We want a nine in the middle. So we have to use five and four inside our bracket. So let's open the bracket up and put five over here and four over here. Now I need to get to negative nine, which means a negative five and a negative four should work. Let's check if it works. Put X in place. And now I'm gonna perform that same smiley face test again. Take the inner two terms becoming minus five times X becoming minus five X. And X times minus four becoming minus four X. Minus five X minus four X is minus nine X. So yeah, it works. So that's correct. All right, let's go through the next one now. Remember, we look at the last term and let's write down all the factors. So six times one or two times three. Now look at the numbers, six and one and two and three. Add it and subtract it. If you add it, you get seven. If you subtract it, you get five. If you add this, you get five. If you subtract it, you get one or negative one. But I'm just putting the positive. By the looks of it, I need seven. And seven comes from there, which means those are the factors I need. So six will become six and one. Let's write that part in there. Six times one, remember, gets me my last term six. 
And because all the terms are plus, I should put a plus all the way through. And then X. Now, let's do a check. And then if I go inner two terms, I get plus X, smiley face test. Outer two terms, plus six X. Do they add up to the middle term? Yes, they do. So the answer is correct. Let's look at the next one now. I've got negative 80. Negative 80 can become 80 times one, 40 times two. There's so many, right? Three, four times 20. You need to get to two, which means the difference of the numbers can't be really big. These look like they can be 81 or 79, 42 or 38. 24 or 16 is way too high. So I keep going. Let's go even lower than that. Let's try 10 and 8. And I'm going to stop there because there might be just too many. Because that, immediately I can see, is going to be 10 plus 8 is 18. And 10 minus 8 is 2. And that's what I want. I want 2. So 10 and 8 is what I'm actually looking for. So I'm going to put 10 and 8 because that gets me my 80. I need to get to a negative two. So negative 10 plus eight should work. I'm gonna do a quick test to see if it works. Negative 10 is the middle two terms times X is negative 10 X and negative and positive eight times X is gonna be positive eight X. Do they get me my middle two? Yes, they do. So that is the correct factorization. And then they 